to Hanukkah and Thanksgiving and falling on the essentially the same day. So here are some thoughts about that. Is uh, and particularly for uh, Neil Cavuto because Neil is one of his favorite characters on the program. Here's Larry King. Morning, Larry. Morning. Put that big gold buckle on your yarmulke. Dress your bird with rye bread stuffing. Spin the dreidel on the pumpkin pie because it's not going to happen again for another 70,000 years. Thanksgivinga, where for <laughs> once, your Uncle Morty won't be the only thing lit. <laughs> Just don't let him near the shamash candle because with that breath, it could be a real fire hazard. In honor of the dual celebration of Thanksgiving and Hanukkah, I've fashioned a festive menorki. It's a menorah made out of a turkey carcass oh. to commemorate both the ancient rebels of Judea, the Maccabees, and the most goyim of all people to ever habitate the planet, the pilgrims of Plymouth Rock. This year, the Festival of Lights coincides with the Macy's Parade, and there's a certain kind of symmetry to that, because although I don't drag them down Broadway on a rope, there are a lot of fat gas bags in my family who usually gather around our Thanksgiving table. I'm just hoping now I won't have to deal with them for another effing seven nights. I guess there's an upside to it all. At least we'll have turkey instead of my Aunt Selma's brisket. I know being Jewish is all about suffering, but compared to eating that tasteless carcass, Julius and Ethel Rosenberg had it easy. I guess it could be worse if Thanksgiving and Passover happened at the same time. Why is this night different than every other night? It's not different at all. Uncle Morty's passed out in the noodle kugel again. Boca Raton, what do you got for Gabe Kaplan? 